Hello everyone. Been doing a little bit shopping today, but first I had to go to the garage and put some petrol in my car because I came home on Thursday night from the bingo and went to the A1 and didn't even realise my tank, the light came on, saying that the petrol, you know, it needed petrol and then the, the one bar that was there went off when I just got onto the A1 and I couldn't get off until I come down. Well, I could have took one of the slip roads off, but I took a chance because I think there's usually quite a bit in before you get down to the um, to absolutely nothing. But I went out. I haven't been out again till this morning and I went out to the um, do some shopping at home bargains. So I thought I'm going to put, put petrol in first, but I put a petrol can in the back of the car just in case it wasn't enough to get me around the garage, but there was. So that cost me £49, three pence to fill my petrol. It's only a small Citroen I've got, so it doesn't cost me all that much. And I think the last time I filled it up was about two months ago, so I don't go very far in my car. Just once a week, it's bingo. Once a week, shopping sometimes, and once a week, now my granddaughter's. Maybe it's an odd time I might go somewhere else, but... Anyway, I have been up to home bargains today, so I'm going to show you what I got. First off was these green seedless grapes. They were reduced to one pound. The other, all the other ones are one pound sixty-nine. And the only thing I can think of, there's actually no date on here, but I think there must be the sell-by date on them. But they're quite all right, where I can see. There's nothing wrong with them. There were some other ones in and I could see the grapes were going a little bit brown here and there so that's what I think is the deep up on them but they're not last very long with me because I eat quite a lot of fruit. And then I bought three packets. This is called Uncle Sam's Original Button Top and Top Cold. I bought this the last time I was up um, home bargain so I have been buying at other places before but this was the nicest popcorn I've ever had you know sometimes you get it and there's those little hard bits where the corn hasn't thingy done properly you know and that but these ones were, were great there was nothing absolutely nothing up with these they were £1.19 each that was two packets I bought for that because most of my shopping last me a couple of weeks and then I bought some seabrook Seabrook Sea Salted Clean Crisps. If I'm not in all these, these are the ones I buy because I like these. I want 25. And then away are they? Then I bought a pack of four bubble envelopes. These are big enough for um the peg bags that I sell on my uh, knitting. If you've seen them on my um my knitting channel and they were 99 pence for four and then i bought a dixon's minced beef and onion pie you usually buy packs of two but they didn't have any packs of two because it's only 1.99 for two I usually put one in the freezer and one is probably for today for my tea. It was £1.19, so I had to pay more <laughs> for to get a single one, but I thought one will do me. And then I bought... These are for the kids tomorrow. I usually buy enough for two, but I only bought one packet of um, jelly babies because I already have a packet in the, um, the drawer for Tommy. They were 99 pence. And then I bought three packets of the Walker's licorice toffees. I bought one packet of the licorice toffees, one packet of the caramel, the salted caramel toffees. These are all Walker's. And one packet of the treacle toffees. So I have one out of each packet of a night time when I'm sitting knitting. And they were 79 pence a packet. And then I bought, I always get a couple of packets for the kids, you know, that's a couple of weeks, this for tomorrow, Sunday, and next Sunday. So I bought two packets of Skittles, the tropical ones, the other ones that um, 
Frankie seems to like. He's the 12 year old. They were £1.25 for two packets. For £1.25 each, I bought two packets. And then I bought a pack of 10 large eggs. I have no eggs left at all. They were £1.89. And then a little present for the two dogs when I go tomorrow. <laughs> I used to have this for my dog. Only we had to play with him. You know, he had all the one, one, one side, we had all the other end pulling in. But the two dogs will be able to play with that together because they'll both be able to get their mouth around it. And that was £1.99. It's, it's a nylon ring, a flavoured chew. It's bacon flavour, so they'll probably try and eat that. And then I've seen these face cloths, so I are three for one ninety nine. And after I bought them, after I come out and think to myself, I could have just crocheted them. Didn't think about it at the time because I always used to buy them before I started doing all this with knitting and crocheting. I oh, could have saved myself one ninety nine, but you know your mind doesn't think like that sometimes. And then I bought two packets of ibuprofen there's 16 tablets you only allow that many um you can't buy any more than that at once but i use these with having trouble with arthritis and having trouble with my wrists and my fingers sometimes um if i'm doing a lot of knitting or crochet i'll take two of these and one paracetamol in the morning and it usually lasts me all day there's just now and again it's only if um you know the things like that's bothering me they were 39 pence each and then i bought i think i paid 2.99 for uh, this this is the coconut head and shoulders with the um the coconut oil in it because this is i have a very dry scalp and that with i have dermatitis affects my face and my scalp and everything and Nothing seems to help, but this one does. It's coconut. It must be the coconut oil because I do use coconut oil on my face and because my skin gets very dry and flaky. And it was two ninety nine the last time I bought it, but I got this for two pound forty nine in home bargain. So that was a bit better. It's fifty pence cheaper. And then, like I said, because I have arthritis, it's I have it in my spine. And one of those heating pads I put on my knee, um, you know, really just to keep my knee warm if I don't want to put the central heating on. Or, but sometimes I do have trouble with my back, so I bought a hot water bottle. I haven't had a hot water bottle for a lot of years, but I've seen it for two ninety nine. So, oh, I thought that'll come in handy. I can just put that behind me with my I've had my heating pad on my knee and that behind me on my back. Because I have been having a lot of trouble lately with this, with the arthritis and it's affecting my spine. And then I haven't got it here, I'll have to go and get it. I bought myself a little pedal bin for to put in my toilet. I usually have a I have a small one that's seen better days and I could do with a new one because we we had a letter from the council not that I do it anyway but we had a letter from the council the other day telling us not to put those wipes down the toilet and I have them I have the wipes in my toilet I use those the baby wipes but I use one to wash all around the toilet around the bowl and everything and then I just put them in my little bin that I have there which a lot of people must be putting them down the toilet and blocking up the um, the drains and things like that. And for other wipes, you know, the wet wipes, your, your fresh things you use in the toilet. So I thought I'd get myself a new bin. And this was only 4 99 I think. 4 99 for this one. It has a little, a little foot one. It's a little thing inside, so that's easy to empty that. So that was my little bit shopping haul today, not a big shopping haul, but I do have to do more. 
so to get some other things but I'm going to another day to Sainsbury's berries and all of these and that little lot cost me £30.78 pence. and I also paid for my petrol as well today so I've come to be quite a bit and you know I always get the Haribo gold bears for little Eddie the five-year-old because that's all he wants. He goes in the hoof if I buy anything else. Well, I only usually buy them from um, Home Bargains because they're usually only 99 pence in there. They had every Haribo one in there but the gold bears. So I had to call into B&M, which is a little girl. I had to go way past where I live and a little bit further on to get to B&M for... Um, yeah, the only other place I know that has them. Most places like um, Sainsbury's and Aldi's they have all Haribo, but they don't have the Golden Bears for some reason. But I found them in B&M, but I had an awful job to get them in B&M. Though all the packets, packets were piled, piled up there, piled up with sweets, everything but gold bears. And I was going to go and ask, I seen a young fella, um, Filling some of the, you're sorting some of the, the ducker things out and that, you know. Now that I haven't got any gold bears, how you know gold bears? And you see, I'm sure I put some out this morning. She says, I put some out on the, the list for to be put out. We couldn't, we couldn't find them. And, and then there were some things hanging down in front of the, um, the ducker things, you know, things you buy. They were hanging from a thing and I moved it out of the way and there they were behind there. <laughs> he said, oh, there you are, that'll keep you happy. <laughs> So that'll keep the little Eddie happy. There's nothing worse than him going in the hoof. You <laughs> usually sit on, when he's in the hoof, I haven't been able to get them before and sit on the settee where he keeps digging me like that, giving us a dig and, <laughs> and going in the hoof. And whatever I do bring him, you know, he always gives me a sweet out of the bag when he opens them and he won't let me have anything if I don't bring him gold bears. But anyway, that's my bit so. Thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time, so bye for now. Oh, and by the way, I had to pay £1.25 for those, instead of 99 pence.